Hey guys, this is Mitz again, and this time I wanted to share with you my idea for an enclosure for my Onefinity. I toyed around with a number of different ideas. I was really concerned about just building a static stationary box around the machine and then not being able to access it from all sides. So I came up with the idea of maybe using drawer slides and that's what we've got here. And by doing so, I can move the front half of the machine back and be able to access the machine from all sides, at, you know, at least for the front half. And then if I'm going to be doing any kind of tiling and I need to get to the back side of the machine, I can move the back half forward and access from the back. I'll show a little bit more detail later in the video with regards to the drawer slides, how I did that. But all of these parts were cut on the Onefinity and um, I assembled it uh, as I was making them and you'll be able to see that as well. Um, I don't have any plans for this. Um, I suppose I could draw some up, but this is really specific to my, my table size and uh, my placement of the Onefinity on the table. So, um, not sure that that would work for everyone, but uh, at least it'll give you some ideas on what you might be able to do in building an enclosure. So what I did is I mounted a piece of uh, one by two oak to my table. And you can see right there that it's just mounted uh, directly to my table. And the drawer slides, I got two sets of the 24 inch side mount drawer slides. Normally, the outer section is mounted to the stationary fixture, the, the cabinet, if you will, and then the smaller inner slide is uh, attached to the uh, drawer. However, I wound up doing it a little bit differently. I, I put this smaller inner slide and attached it to the stationary uh, one by material and then the outer casing is mounted to the side panel of the enclosure. One major reason I did that is if you were to mount the side panel to the smaller um, inner slide, you would never be able to get it off of your rails because you need to have access to the mechanism to actually remove it and it's right there so if I had mounted this to the uh, to the side panel it would be resting up against the one by material and that wouldn't be good you wouldn't be able to take that off the other thing that uh, I should point out is is that you definitely want to leave a bit of a gap when you're mounting your drawer slides and I basically took the whole complete set and laid it on my one by material, um, left about a 16th of an inch gap along the edge and then screwed it down in place. I made this flush to the front and then screwed it down in place. Uh, the reason for that is, is that it gives you a little bit of clearance so that your panel and slide are not running on the top of your table, creating more friction. I then attached the second rail to the one by material, um, but from the opposite end, so that these run in different directions. And um, the inner box was built first, and then the outer box was built second, but uh, both are removable and uh, could be completely removed from your table uh, just by unlatching the slide itself.
So hopefully that gives you some ideas on what you might be able to do to build an enclosure for your CNC router. Hope it helped. Um, I did want to point out that I mentioned that I put these slides on a specific way. Uh, reason being is I wanted the enclosure to slide over the table and not overhang the table. If you, you, you could theoretically put it the other way around, but then everything would be overhanging the table when you slide. Um, and then that just takes up a whole lot more room and creates some access issues. So just have the doors to put on the front and back and go get some uh, plexiglass to, to install as well. And I'll be just about done with this project. Hope that helps. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. Thanks guys.